Good morning, church family. Here's some hope for Monday. Let's go back to that verse in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 10. God says, Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tried you in the furnace of affliction. So we learned in yesterday's teaching that gold does not fear the fire. The fire is my friend because the fire is going to determine if I am as advertised. And if I am, then God be praised. And if not, then then God will use the fire to make me into he, the person he means for me to be. But think about that for a minute. God loves me enough to examine my life, to pay attention to my life. I am not invisible to the Almighty. I'm visible. I'm in His sight. I'm under His surveillance. And He's watching me, not to, not to um, criticize me as someone who is worthless, but to develop me as his child so that I will be mature and complete, not lacking anything, and so that I will be someone whose face will reflect his face. Because Isaiah says that God does the refining for his glory so that when the world looks at what God has done to me and for me, and through me, the world says, if, if God does that for him, maybe there's hope for me. Maybe I need to look to him. Maybe I need to trust him. Maybe I need to come to him. Maybe I need to have that yearning in my heart. Can you see the prayer then? God, give me that yearning and longing. And it's because they've seen God's work in and through you. And so that's what I want you to take away with today, that God loves you enough to examine your life and look at your life and refine your life, our lives. We're in this together. God, I just want to pray for today. I want to pray, Lord, that you'd be glorified in whatever refinery you send us to. Help us see it as from you, by you, for our good, and ultimately for your glory. I pray this in Jesus' name. And the church said, 